day 894. We are up fairly early. Already walked the pup. That went well. Now we're headed out. I gotta go pick up my soccer stuff. We're planning to leave by 8 o'clock to make it to the soccer game at 10. Gives us a little, a little play time to possibly drop off the pup and give her some food before heading out. But it might be a little close. We've got just under an hour. And then after that, we're gonna head back to my brothers and dads. And we are going to wait for a kind of a barbecue birthday celebration for my dad. Hang out there for most of the day and at some point find a time to run and get back here before tomorrow which the schedule could change it could be going back to work instead of taking a day off so we'll see everything's kind of up in the air we're playing it by ear soccer game is done we won i think like seven zero i had nothing to do with it i just was a body there best game ever seven oh, zero. we did oh and now <laughs> Someone was distracted with the dog. But now we're at the grocery store getting food to take to the little birthday barbecue thing for my dad. And then we're gonna head on that way, but we're gonna grab snacks first. And Charlie's gonna pay with their credit card. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, baby, can I have your credit card? No, your credit card. Yeah, mine, what's mine is yours. Oh, is that how it works? Snacking on some chips. Some brothers on the grill. And everyone else is just kind of hanging out. It's a good time. Might play some volleyball a little bit later. We'll see after we run out priorities of food. Jennifer and I are on a hike. Don't really know where we are right now. I'm just kidding. We're just right there. <laughs> We're just stretching our legs, trying to wake up a little bit. We're gonna have to head back. And then once we get back, we're gonna try to rally and I still need to go for the run. I'm not really counting the soccer game as a run. And then we need to pack, so it's 5.40 and still got a lot to do. And the drive back's gonna be about an hour 45, somewhere in there, hour 30. So the earliest we'll get back is about 7.38. So between getting more stuff for Packing and moving and trying to get a run. It's going to be a lot to do in one night. And then try to wake up and get back to work the next day. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Good times, right? Good times. It is now 9 p.m. We just got back. I left my phone in the car. And the charger. So I came to grab these. And now... I'm trying to get geared up for the run. <laughs> oh, I, I thought... I was gonna get up and do the run at six o'clock, six thirty. Just didn't pan out that way. He's like, all right, just go later, go later. And then waited to eat, and then I was like, okay, done eating. Let's wait a little while, and then me try to go run. And then I just ate again. I was like, what was I doing? I could have went for a run right now. And then I just got pushed back, pushed back. Now we're here, back in Phoenix, trying to go run. Today's one of those mental days where just it'd be so much easier to stay in, go to sleep, and worry about a run later. Oh, so struggling today. Not that I wasn't active. We'd, we had the soccer game. We walked around, hiked around the lake a little bit. Still not a run though, right? It's 9:45. Just getting out the door to go do this run. Check the temperature. It's 102 right now. Whew. Just gonna try to squeeze in a three mile run. Let's see how it goes. Right now, the watch is synced up. I think we're good to go. It's gonna be nice and easy just trying to get it done today. No quick pace. My feet are still hurting, like my heels, so I'm gonna try to stay easy a little bit today and probably even tomorrow and then we'll go from there reassess after a couple days but right now let's start it up I'm trying to break into these shoes so I've been wearing them today just to get the 
arch to kind of start bending around, right? But I'm having problems on the heel. I still feel it just as much as I did now as I did in the other shoes. I'm a little worried. I may have waited too long. Could have bruised my heel bone. Because I've done that before. I'm trying to run steeple in college. Maybe a story for another day, but it feels identical. So, a little worried about it right now. The last time I had to be in a boot, and I was off it for two or three weeks at a time. So, not something that I would like to do right now. Over 200 days in to the goal. So, Hoping for the best. Gonna massage it out tonight and go from there. Hopefully, it's bring better results tomorrow. So normally, I feel zippy. In a new pair of shoes, you just feel like you got new life in your legs, and you just try to go with the same effort and you go a little faster. Just the shoes are just so much more responsive, and I'm not having that feeling right now. I am struggling. There's the mile, let's check it. 818. Not bad, but it's not feeling zippy like the legs are ready to go. And I don't blame the shoes. Just a combination of factors of long day. I think I went to bed around one. Got up around 545. Lots of sun time today. Soccer game out on the barbecue. Driving. Uh, probably dehydrated. And it's so late. Body's just tired. Mile two. Here we go. Let's check. 749. That's a little better. A little bit better than where you are. A little better than where we start. So I'll take that as the win for today. Got the run in, and second mile is a little better than the first. So, all right, let's just see if we can hold on for the third. Keep another 740 ish in there. All right, let's see how we do to finish the mile. There it is, let's check. 7.41, all right. Oh. Oh. That one took some effort. That one took more effort to get out of. It was just sit down, get the head right, buckle in and just say, all right, if you want to hold that effort, you got to pick it up. You got to mentally dial it in, focus and you know what effort you got to get in the 818, so you have to adjust and do more. That's what I did, just mentally, I was new as a mile. And I used that mental edge to say, I, I know I'm just running to get back, so that excites you a little bit more. You know where the finish line is. Then they're just saying, all right, focus in, get your arms pumping, get the stride. You know, a little bit quicker mentally ready to hang on to that pace and I was just thinking like that for the rest of the mile like three quarters mile half mile wherever it was just all right stay focused dial in finish this one where you wanted to and the whole the whole run isn't there but one it's in and two got a little bit of work on that mental game and in the end all those little mental game pieces are gonna add up to something big I don't know what it is yet, but I don't necessarily need to worry about that. I just got to put in the work now. So when it comes time to collect those mental chips, those golden nuggets, so I like to refer to them. Someone who's told me about it, they're golden nuggets. So it's gonna be time and place to cash those in. When, you don't always know the time or the place, but you don't worry about that. You just worry about doing the work now. So when it comes time to cash that in, like the end of a poker match, you can go all in. You 
you have more chips than anyone else on the table. And you're more prepared, you're ready to go. And that's what today was more of. Adding another chip to that porker pile. More chips, more chips. Making that poker pile as big as I can get it. It's done, we're in. Three miles done for the day. We were gonna go move some more stuff, but I think we're in. I think we're gonna be in for the night. I'm mentally, physically wiped out. So I'm gonna call it here. Just run your life. Health and happiness. Have a good night.